It's Fix It Phase. We're at uh, County Line Farm. I'm, uh, I've got, I've been pushing snow, as you've seen in the other videos, with my co-cadet with a blade. <clears throat> well, I'm running out of places to put it. We've got so much snow out here. You can probably see. See how much, <laughs> this is a lot of snow. I'm going to say there's probably about a foot and a half, maybe. Something like that. <clears throat> you can tell by how much is on top of that tank. Anyhow, <clears throat> I've been pushing snow with the Cub Cadet. And I'm running out of places to put it. So I thought, well, I have an old original here in the corner that I restored a while back with a snowblower on it. And I'm going to go out and clean up some areas that I'm having trouble pushing snow and see if I can't throw it with the uh, with the snowblower. I found this uh, snow thrower. It's a Danco snow thrower. It's a B, BB36. Um, these are kind of getting hard to find now because, you know, they didn't make too many of these. It, this was specific to the belt drive cub cadet especially with the hookups and the gearbox and everything that's in it um i haven't had this tractor run in probably i don't know five ten years um it's five degrees out right now so what i'm going to try and do is start this and see if it starts i put a battery in it i put some gas in it I aired up the tires and we're going to see if we can't get this thing started start <clears throat> okay we checked everything we got spark we got gas this thing should start This is a 1962 International Cub Cadet. This does not have a uh, model designation because this is the first one, <clears throat> the first model that was made. Um, I had a, uh, I have, a, I have a 61 for that I had for parts. I was going to restore it, but then I wanted to put. Uh, a bunch of accessories on it and the only way to do the accessories is is put them on a 62 because the 62 is when they came out with most of the you know the extra little gadgets and, and stuff to put on them because 62 or 61 they still didn't have you know they still were building the tractor they had a few basic implements but um it, it wasn't in production long enough to um get the accessories out so um, like I said, this is a 62, uh, it's got a BB 36 international Danco blower on it. 
<clears throat> it's uh, it's a single stage blower. It it works pretty good. Now I like I said, this thing isn't beautiful because I've been using this. Um, it's it's been uh, earning its keep here. Um, like I said, it's a single stage. The chute is adjustable. You can turn the you know adjust the uh, chute from the operator's seat with the crank, and uh, it has greasable bearings. It's got the right angle gearbox on it. There's International Danco on it. It says BB36 right on it. Uh, this subframe and everything is apparently, from what I understand, is, is pretty rare because they only use this particular um, snowblower on the belt drive Cub Cadets. And what I mean by belt drive is the belt goes from the motor down to the clutch down below here. And the clutch is automobile style and it runs back then to the rear end. They changed this. In 64 because um, they didn't like the belt going down there uh, the belt you have to replace the belt and it was another moving part and they simplified it by flipping the frame upside down setting the motor down inside the frame and then running the drive shaft straight back to the to the the uh, farm cub rear end <clears throat> this <coughs> tractor's got lots of gadgets on it um, for one, it's got headlights. Um, the headlights are an add-on. Uh, you don't see those very often. Um, it's got the you know, round brackets, and the headlight fits. And then this is electric start. I believe the <clears throat> the really early Cubs were pull start. Um, I really don't have anything to rock, to use for the three-point hitch on this tractor, but um, it would be kind of nice to have all of the you know giz gizmos on it it does have fenders um that was a also a choice um that the dealer provided at the dealership uh, was rear we rear fenders um i don't know what the percentage was but uh there, there weren't very many sold with fenders so um had a seat cover made uh, with a drawstring <clears throat> i've painted this tractor this is an interesting story in this tractor. I, um, I had this. This tractor was in a was a, was in a garage fire. Um, I bought the tractor and I was mowing grass with it. it has I still have the thirty eight inch mower deck. Um, I, I but I decided to put the you know put the snow blower on it instead of the the uh, mower deck. <clears throat> but I do have the mower deck for it. Um, but I, I am. I I had it in I had it in my garage and I, I completely restored it. Um, I I I painted it and everything, and my garage caught fire and this thing pretty much burned from here down to about the tires. Everything from about here up got so hot that all the paint was completely toast on it and melted all the wires and i had to sandblast everything over again and repaint it so this tractor's actually been restored twice uh it uh it, yeah it was a lot of work but we got her done I, I redid it again and i thought you know the motor's rebuilt i didn't have to do that over because that was internal and uh, the heat didn't seem to bother it but i changed all the oils in it uh, repainted it <clears throat> and I found, I was down at uh, Greenville Tire one day, and I looked up on the shelf, and there's a pair of old Cub Cat original, brand new tires sitting on a shelf. I said, what are you doing with those? And he says, oh, some guy ordered them, and they were coming back to, to pick them up. So I bought these brand new off the shelf. I'm really fortunate, because I guess, you know, these tires are pretty hard to find. So, um, brand new. Uh, the front ones are still Firestones. They're not in real good shape, but they are still kind of holding air. And but these, this, this is the original tire pattern right here. This is what you got on a Cub Cadet. <clears throat> I, I have seen the little diamond uh, tread pattern goes all the way around, but the Firestones were more popular. Uh, it's got a 
air or an oil bath air cleaner still on it. Um, this, the next year after this, they went to a paper element, but the first year here they had, you know, oil bath, um, air cleaners. Um, this, uh, let's see what else. There's a little, there's the, the bracket for the holder. This, all these holders and everything were missing. I found picture, I had a breakdown sheet of parts, um, uh, and I made all these pieces, um, for the, for you know, for the uh, snowblower because, you know, all the stuff was missing. So, um, the the belt engagement, there's a belt that goes there down and a, a pulley, a Nidler pulley that pulls in and engages it. Um, I had, I, I had to, had to make all that stuff. Uh, it runs, it runs really good. It's, um, it, 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 it pushes, it, you know, blows snow really well but it's got to be at least 25 degrees 27 degrees or below to blow snow because these snow blowers when the snow gets hot you know wet and heavy they tend to plug a lot so <clears throat> um i do like i said around here i do prefer the the blade on you know blade on a tractor because it, it never fails but uh um, I've got some spots out in the driveway now that uh, I, I was unable to, uh, uh, had no room left to push snow because we got more snow. And um, I'm going to take this out and um, blow some more, you know, blow a little snow with it just because, like I said, it needs exercise and I need to get it out. So. Okay, folks that's uh that concludes our um snow blower on the vintage cub cadet um blew a lot of snow got um got a lot of snow moved 
Um, it worked pretty good. The only thing is I, I did hook up the battery backwards the first time. And for some reason, the headlights now don't work. So, I don't know, go figure. We're going to have to go back to drawing board on that. So, anyhow, um, um, this is Deering Dave signing off. Um, stay tuned for uh, McCormick Deering I-12 restoration project. And um, probably won't be back on the Cub Cadets until probably the spring. Um, like, subscribe, tell your friends, and uh, we'll see you on the flip-flop.